The single object measurement modeling describes the relation between the object state x and the corresponding measurement. So uh, let's consider an illustration with an uh, autonomous car and uh, in the opposing lane there is a vehicle. This vehicle has some state represented by this cross sign and uh, the autonomous vehicle is equipped with some sensor that detects the car in the opposing lane and uh, the measurement is here represented by the red circle. In general, depending on the type of sensor that is used and the types of objects that we are tracking, we will require different types of single object measurement models. So uh, there's not a single measurement model that can always be used, regardless of what type of sensor that you're using or the type of targets that you're tracking. Similarly to the motion modeling, the measurement models typically include additive noise. So uh, the measurement said at time k is some function h that takes the object state as input, and then we have additive noise. And um, this measurement function h, it can be either linear or nonlinear. And uh, we can also use this to define a so-called measurement likelihood, a density for the measurement said at time k given the object state at time k. Let's take an example where we assume that we have a sensor that gives us range and bearing measurements. So we have an autonomous car with a field of view, and uh, there's one more vehicle inside the field of view. We can mark the coordinate frame by the sensor by these two axis arrows. And then uh, again, assuming that the sensor is a range bearing sensor, what we measure is the distance from the sensor to the other car and the bearing or the angle from the sensor to the other car. This can be described by the following measurement function where px and py is the object's position and sx and sy is the sensor's position, both at time k. So in the measurement function, we have first the Euclidean distance from the sensor position to the object's position. That's given by the top expression. And then the inverse tangent expression describes the angle or the bearing from the sensor to the object. So in this example, we have explicitly denoted the sensor position. And in the remainder of this course, it will be implicitly assumed that the sensor position is known. However, in many real multiple object tracking applications, different methods have to be applied to also estimate the sensor position. For example, we can use GPS positioning to uh, know where the sensor is positioned. However, sensor positioning is outside the scope of this course. So let's have a look at an example where we have Gaussian distributed measurement noise. So the density for the measurement noise is Gaussian with zero mean and covariance R. If we have a measurement model with additive noise, then we get a Gaussian measurement likelihood. So the density for the measurement Z given the state X is Gaussian with mean described by the measurement function H with the object state as input and the covariance is the measurement noise covariance R.